everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to be putting some little videos in. I took a little video of the ice that's outside. We can go there and you can see that. I was sitting at the computer and the snow is melting or the ice is melting and this is what falls off the roof. You hear it hit and it's like Oh my goodness, it's dangerous to come out. There's ice up there, but I don't know if you can see it very good. That's not very big ice. It's, most of it's gone on this side. That's good. Because if I let the dog out, it could scare him or kill him if it fell on him. I was going to tape these the other day and I forgot to do it. And now they're melting, so now they're skinnier. This was like, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen those water walls. That's what it looked like, a water wall. The Having um, icicles on your roof is not a good thing. It means you're losing heat. So we're losing heat on this side of the house, apparently. I took a little video of how I, I thread a needle. And we'll go to that one. You're not going to catch me filing my nail, are you? No. No? Okay. Not at all. <laughs> that, was not a, that was not a true whatever. Might as well do the other side since you're watching. I'm not watching. Yeah. Who are you kidding? The people are, but I'm not. <laughs> Who are you kidding? Okay, it's done. All right, now what I wanted to show is whenever people have these needles and yarn, and I always see them try to make this end that's kind of funny, fuzzy. I see them trying to fix it, and then they put it, try to thread it through. Why do they do that? All you have to do is fold it in half, put the needle against it, and push. And it comes right through, so easy. Same thing with um, threading a needle, a, a little needle. This needle has an extremely little hole. I don't even know if you can see it. It's for thread. It's an old needle. If you can tell it's an old needle. It's got funniness on it. Then you use a piece of thread, but you want to make sure your end is a clean cut when you do that. So you, you take... A pair of scissors and whoops these are not good scissors for this I want the blue ones I they're don't know where the they blue are. ones I gotta find the blue ones okay the red ones are good for my crafts but the blue ones work better for cutting thread and then you take your itty bitty needle and what you're gonna now if you have if you have beeswax it would be nice because you would rub it on the beeswax you put it in your fingers like it's down there, like almost can't see it. Then you take your little, and I've got bad eyesight. And then you take your needle and put it on top of that little black speck. And then you hopefully have it through, and you have it through. Look at that, and I can't even see. I am really blinder than a bat. There, see, it's on this thread. Can you see the needle dangling? Mm -hmm. It's on the thread, but that's how you do it. But it's easier if you have a if you have beeswax, you would rub it with the beeswax, or even a wax candle would work. I think maybe even a bar of soap. I'm not even sure. I haven't tried a bar of soap. But what your your object is to try to make this stiff, and then the little needle hole goes through. That's it. Now the topper of them all, and the best of them all, I hope you stick around for this one, is the noise that Mr. Brown makes when Jim walks into the room. She was, she really does a funny noise. And the funny part is, she saw me the first time we walked through, so she didn't make the noise, but then I kind of hid behind the corner of the room, and she made her noise, and you got to hear it. It's really good. So um, they say that chickens are a distant relative of a dinosaur. Well, just think of a dinosaur. She definitely is. <laughs> think of a dinosaur when you hear the sound. And 
I don't know if you've watched any of the dinosaur stories. What was the one that... Jurassic Park. Uh, yeah. That one was good. And that's what they sound like. They sound just like her. We're going to try to catch the sound that the chicken makes. Nothing today? Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's too funny. So I hope you enjoy this little short video, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.